Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 55. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alrighty-o, Road Atlanta, Class R GT Championship. Let's get cracking. Alright, we're here at the front of the grid. We got the Volvo for this one. I didn't have a panic and was like, I can't use the Volvo twice because of how powerful it is. But we haven't used the Volvo yet, so I'm allowed to use it. This car is extremely quick for the GT champion Championships. Oh, I got hiccups. And surprisingly, over that section there, the game didn't lag too much. So, uh, confusion, confuse.com, maybe, confuse.co.uk, <laughs> compare the meerkat.com, ah, we've gone wide, bend it. Right, now the question is, we're going to have to work out, as we go down this pit straight, whether this game uses the left-hand pit lane or the right-hand. Because Road Atlanta is known for endurance races, like long-ass long, long -ass races. But it's also well known for the fact that its pit straight is extremely short, but they overact it with two pit lanes. Like, I'm not even joking. You have... A pit lane on the inside there, and you've got a pit lane on the outside there. But the one on the outside is out of use, so should be fine. So yeah, it will be the one on the right hand side that we're using. Um, we'll also pit on lap number 12, same as we have done pretty much every single race, these championships. Just pit at the midpoint, should be good to go. Especially as that's the point where we start to see tyre wear kick in. So, and a lot of the AI will just go until the tyres are gone, so they'll get laps on pretty shocking tyres. Oh, I'm on the grass. Can't touch grass. No, 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 no. Oh, the grip through that section is unreal. Now, we could turn on hard mode and go for two pit stops. Pit on lap 8 and number 16. Nah, I think that would be ridiculous. Kind of pointless as well. Break the cycle. My headphones are wanting to disconnect. It keeps stuttering. I think it's since I moved my setup round, I think I've knocked something in my PC. But then that can't be, because my Bluetooth speaker now works better than ever. Not had a problem with a Bluetooth speaker. Hmm. We will have to work that one out. 
<laughs> Corona. Corona, na, na, na. Yeah, um, depending on how quick we finish this, because we're playing Forza every day for the n till Friday. If we finish this game beforehand and we finish it on, say, Thursday, then on Friday we'll do Project Paradise. Pee pee. Yeah. It depends how much we get done. Because if we only get a little bit done, and we don't have to do Forza on Friday, we'll have to do Forza on Friday. I think we'll get it done, though. Because we'll only have... Uh, do, 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 do. If I've done my maths right, we'll only have... Oh, shit. Seven events to do. About... 42 races, I believe. So, not too many. I'm drowning away in my arms. I love Fred V and graphics. They are... Honestly, they are so extremely talented. I'm gonna have to turn a light on after this race. Because it's getting dark in this room here. Not that I care, but I should probably turn the light on, otherwise my stream will look a little weird. But, I do have sort of like a light source just here. Which kind of is helping. Okay, now that's lagging a little bit. Mm. Right, so once we're done with this lap, We'll be a quarter of the way through this race.
Groovin. Not doing too bad. Seen minimal to no damage. So hopefully we can keep it that way. Based on the fact that this track is it has some pretty wide runoffs. Um, I think we should be okay. Not got long left of this game though. It's the final countdown, but it's gonna last nearly a whole week. <laughs> so it's not very final, because we still got a lot to go. Hype. Yes, let's get some hype in the chat. Oh, God. And uh, once we're done with this lap here, we'll be a third of the way through. Once we hit the one third mark, we can sort of get a rough representation of what our final race time is going to be. So if we add 30 seconds, uh, 11.42... So we'll say that's 11.40. We'll be looking at approximately... Do, 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 33 minutes. Uh, 35. 35.30. Which is similar to the lap, the time that we actually had before. So, not too bad. Thirty-five thirty. I'm locking that in as our... Final time. For this race. Not bad. Thirty five forty. Okay. Fair enough. I think 35.40 might actually be a more respectable time, only because of the fact that I didn't even calculate tire wear. The possibility of tire wear. Even though tire wear isn't going to do a huge amount, it will still amount to something. So yeah, I, 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 I'm obviously going to stick with mine because I've solidified it in stone. But, uh, oh, a little bit wide there. 35.40 does seem a little bit more reasonable, actually. We're actually starting to see our tyres wear out a little bit as well, so... Potentially could be even more than that. But we'll have to see. We want to be at, um, do, 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 I'm trying to work it out. We want to be at about 17, I think 18 minutes by the time we've come out of the pits on lap 12. To be on track with that number. Right, we've got two more laps left to go, and we're starting to get a little bit of a uh, front left tyre wear. Mainly because of this corner here, in all honesty, and that first corner. 
there's a lot of extra wear that's going to be put on those tyres. So, that extra wear is going to have a huge impact. Huge! These hairpin corners won't do a lot. But you'd be surprised how much just one or two corners where you've got a little more wear on one side of the car can have a difference on your tyre wear. Not bad. O two fifty two. Oh, we got a better lap there. Let's try and push on this lap. I'm surprised we got a best lap on a set of tires that was supposed to be wearing out. In all honesty. Oh, the ties are gone. Oh, that did not go to plan. Oh, the police car outside my window. Charming. Wee, wee, wee. Not looking too bad, actually. Just got on the brakes a little earlier. Yeah, that um, front left is pretty knackered, but we're going into the pits now anyways. And by the looks of it, no suspension, brakes, steering, engine, gearbox, or driveline damage. So we're going to have a nice quick pit stop here. I have no clue what the camera was doing, to be honest. Camera was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, we've got to wait for it. Right, let's see. Once we're out, we want to be at about 18 minutes. Oh, look at that. Bang on 18 minutes, pretty much. Look at those calculations. Too good. Oh, I just realized we're in second. See if we can catch up. Obviously, the car in front has still got a pit, so we're going to get our position back, no problem. But could be worth a challenge to try and uh, catch up with the car in front. Ah, oh, your ball bag. You spoiled the fun. You got into the pits already. Come on. I was looking forward to that race. Not bad. 
Absolutely got it with that one, mate. Hey, I knew it. Hey, I knew it couldn't stay out for much longer, otherwise it'd lose, lose too much time. Meow. Motorsport 8 should be coming out this year, which I'm pretty excited for, but in all honesty, I think this might be the first time I'm actually going to skip on a motorsport game. It depends what type of game Forza Motorsport turns out to be, because if it turns out to be something like all the other motorsport games, then I'll skip it. Not because of the fact that I don't want to play it. But because of the fact if it's going to be similar, I'll just play it as part of the playthrough. And when it comes to it, I'll play the game. I'll obviously buy it day one. Give it a couple of tries. But I won't properly play it or finish it or anything like that. I'll finish it as part of this. If it's going to be a continuous, like... Sort of like, what's it? A life service game, I think it's called. One where they're just adding stuff to it constantly and changing it. And it'll be like the last of the Forza Motorsport. No thanks. I'll skip that game completely. Entirely. As much as a live service does seem like a good option, I don't think it would be good in the long run for Forza or the consumers. Because it consumers will get bored of a live service game if there's not a huge dramatic change. Forza Motorsport had the changes that would make it worthwhile buying a new Forza. A live service won't see that. I mean, you look at games like Destiny 2, they're not... If they didn't bring out those big DLC updates with monetary value to them, a lot of people just wouldn't bother playing the game again. Because a lot of people that still play Destiny 2 buy those DLCs because it's a new experience. Completely new thing. And yeah, a live service will do that. But it depends how they're going to do it. Because if they're going to make you pay... For these DLC cars, it's not going to work. Definitely. But at the same time, if they're just adding tracks and cars, that's also not going to work. Because you need a whole entire new experience. Sometimes you just need that progression reset to enjoy the game again. I'm just so hoping the new game isn't like that. But we'll find out at some point in June when Xbox has their event, which Motorsport will probably have to be released this year. Because it's been nearly five years and they've got no Motorsports on sale. 
technically, Forza is not earning any money from the motorsport developers. So, they need to be getting that game out this year. Because I think it was last year they took it off the, off the store. So, oh god. Not ideal. Which, I mean, Horizon 4 is probably going to come off the store this year. Because they didn't plan. Yeah, it's got to be. Honestly. I, I can't see them not releasing the game this year. But also, Forza Horizon 4 is probably going to come off the store. I'm not sure about 5, whether that's still going to have the 4-year window like the other games. But Horizon 4 probably doesn't have that 4-year window. Horizon 4 will probably be off this year because it will have... Did I say it doesn't? It probably will have the same 4-year window because they didn't plan on delaying a Horizon game and all that stuff. So, keep an eye out towards September time. You might see huge sales for Horizon 4 because my plan is to buy it on Steam as well when it goes extremely cheap. Before they have to remove it. So that way I can play the Steam version on PC. Rather than playing the fucking shitty version. And that way it also means I get to keep my Xbox save. Without actually having to reset it. And I can just start. A Steam save instead. Now that I think about it, that's actually a really good plan. Is that the Nissan? I bet you that's the Nissan that I really wanted to drive, but I knew I probably shouldn't have because it was really slow. And yes, it, it does look like a Nissan. That thing is being lapped after having a pit stop. And I believe it is also in last place. Pretty fucking impressive, if you ask me. Giving him space. Oh. That's some proper racing. Proper racing etiquette as well. Is this that Auckland Sunrise song? I want to say it is. It sounds like it. Oh no, it's Major Happy. Was this in Horizon 3? No. It was in Horizon 2, wasn't it? No, it couldn't have been. I actually don't know. I did hit into the back of his car there, so that one was on me.
Oh, my phone's telling me it's going to die. Not a good idea. Phone, please don't. Please don't die. Stay alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. <laughs> oh god. Cringe. Right. I think this is actually the one that was in Horizon 2. Not too bad. Not doing too bad. Alright, we're starting to see a little bit of tire wear on that front left tire again. But, uh, about the same point as we did in our first stint. Because I think it was lap 10 that we started to see the tire wear. And we're now on lap 22, which is lap 10 of the second stint. Getting close to that target lap time, though. 35.40 or 35.30 is the question. If it's 35.40, I'll give Matrix a sub. How's that? <laughs> Whichever one it's closer to. Now I've really got to try and race because that's going to cost me money. <laughs> If it's 35.35.000, which is extremely slim, then technically speaking, that rounds up to 30, uh, 35.40. So you would still get it. <laughs> Might actually be safe, to be honest. Mm, maybe. It's going to be pretty close.
Ah, shit. Oh, balls. I didn't go too well. <laughs> uh, we do have tire wear, though, now. This is the final lap. Outside tire, Jesus, You're making it pretty difficult. I need to move the now plane thing up just a tad because it's currently interfering with my head. Oh, this is gonna be maybe not. Oh, shit, completely fucking binned it. Just too busy looking at the numbers trying to work shit out. I think we got this, though. In fact, I've absolutely smashed my time as well. To be perfectly honest. 35-14. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> Bloody hell. 200 grand for that one. Not too bad. We're level 48 now. We've got ourselves an Enzo Ferrari. Let's go. We got a Porsche 911 GT3 Cup as well. Uh, I don't think we actually need any more GT cars, so that's kind of useless. And then that is also our Ferrari Enzo. Hands down, the most beautiful car Ferrari has ever made. I think the Enzo is stunning. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.